evening. Hello. Good evening. <laughs> it's good to see you guys. Welcome to the class. Thank you for connecting on time. It's eight o'clock. It's just time to start. And well, today we're going to have our class number four, 14, actually. It's 14. We are about to finish this course. Just two more classes. Tomorrow, Friday, and Monday. We are going to finish on Monday. Okay. So today, we are going to study simple present WH questions and use of can. Okay. Today is Thursday, June 15th. 2023. Did you already register for the next model? Are you registered for the next course? Beginner three? Yes. Okay. Yes. Very good. Well done. <laughs> okay. So, um, Gabriel, would you like to read the objectives for the class, please? Okay. By the end of this class, you will learn how to ask and answer simple present WH questions. Additionally, you will practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Thank you, Gabriel. Okay, so let's start with the recalling previous knowledge. Then we are going to study WH questions and then the use of can. Okay, so remember that we need the question words, who, what, when, where, how, and why. And we have a conversation, but before the conversation, I have here one exercise that we're gonna do together. Okay, in this exercise, you have to choose what is the correct auxiliary, if do or does. Okay, so I'm gonna look for this exercise and you will see it in a moment. Meanwhile, I'm going to take the attendance and please say present or here when I mention your name. Alba Romero? Alba Yoseli? Present. Thank you, Alba. Amalia Beatriz Tobar de Perez? Present. Ana Julia Flores de Cetino? Present, teacher. Okay. Anderson Emanuel Palo? Anderson Emanuel? Okay, absent. Arely Janet Cornejo? Present teacher. Thank you, Arely. Brenda Elizabeth Dimas. Present. Dino. Thank you, Arely. Brenda Dimas? Present. 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 <laughs> okay. Briseida Garcia? Briseida Yarisa? I'm here, teacher. Carlos García. Carlos. Carlos Manuel Velázquez. Selina Yasmín. Present teacher. Thank you, Selina. Cindy Fabiola Molina. Present. Thank you. Claudia Carolina Cruz. Dani, eh, sorry, Cristian Josué Leiva. Present. Daniel Enrique Ayala. I hear you. Nice. Daniel Quijano. Present teacher. Okay. Edith Carolina Rivera. I'm here, teacher. Edith. Eduardo Enrique Vázquez. Elsa Noelia Portillo. Here. Thank you. Erika Noemi Hueso. Present. Thank you, Erika. Stephanie Garcia, Ángel. Stephanie. Stephanie Garcia. Present. Okay. Thank you. Evelyn Janet Rivera. 
Present. Thank you, Evelyn. Fátima Portillo de Rodas. Present. Gabriel Guevara. Present. Gabriela Alexandra López. Ya Gerardo Arturo Guzmán. Present. Jacqueline Beatriz Vigil. Present. Ginny Lizer Escobar. Present. José Heriberto Durán. Present, teacher. Very good. Thanks. Thank, thank you for being present. Okay, so as I told you, we have WH questions. We do in that. Okay. Claudia Carolina Cruz. Sí. Okay, Claudia. Claudia Carolina Cruz García. Okay. Huh. Nice. Okay. And um, we have to make questions from the cool cues using do or does. Look at the example. Where you live, the question is where do you live? Okay, in number one, we have how you go to school. What is the correct structure of the question? How do you go how to school? How do you go to school? Go to school? Uh, number two, where he work? Where, where does, does he, work? he work? Where does he work? Okay, number three, when class ends? When does, does class end? Exactly. When does class end? When does? Because class is third person singular. What your father do? What, what does your does father, your father do? do? Exactly. What does your father do? Because father is third person singular. Okay. Who you see in the photo? Who do you see in the photo? Mm -hmm. Because the subject is you. Who do you see in the photo? How many cousins you have? How many cousins do you have? How many cousins do you have? That's correct, me. Why you get up early on Sunday? Why you? Why, Why did you, you get up early, early on, Sunday? on Sunday? On Sundays. Okay. Which kind of food you prefer? Which kind of food do you prefer? Do you prefer? Easy, right? We just need to add do or does. What is for she play? What is for well, that? What is for? Does she? Does she play? Yes. And the last one? Where do you? Where does do this you... train go? Exactly, because train is third person singular. It. Where does this train go? This train goes to San Salate. <laughs> okay, we finish. We check the answers. And voila, you got an excellent score. Very good. Good job. So let's go back to the class presentation. And we have a conversation between Tara and Victor. So I need a Tara and a Victor to have the conversation. Okay, Carlos and... Hi, teacher. Daniel. Ah, no. Okay. Okay. Carlos and Daniel. You start, Carlos. Okay. Uh, so, Victor, what do you do in your free time? Well... I really like sport. Cool. What sport do you like? 
My favorite sport are basketball, soccer, and tennis. Wow, you're really good. The you're really good at athletic. When do you play all this sport? Oh, I don't play them very often. What do you mean? I just watch them on TV. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Carlos and Daniel. Good job. So we can see the questions in the WH form. We have, for example, a, what is the first question? Information question. What do you do in the Very nice. Okay. The second question. What the what sport do you like? like? Mm -hmm. Next. When do, when you, do you, play? you play all these sports? Exactly, when. And what do, what you, do, mean? You, mean? What do you mean? What do you mean? Exactly. You see the same structure. WH, auxiliary, subject, and verb complement. WH word, subject. Sorry, auxiliary, subject, verb. WH, auxiliary, subject, verb, complement. WH, auxiliary, subject, and verb. That's it. That is the, the structure for WH questions. And we can see them here. Um, let's see. Who can read questions and the answers? Gini? What sports do you play? I play soccer and basketball. Who do you play basketball with? I play with some friends from work. Where do you play? We play at gym near the office. How often do you practice? We practice twice a week. When do you practice? We practice on Tuesday and Thursday. What time do you start? We start at sit in the evening. Thank you, Yini. So as you notice, it's a conversation, right? They are talking about the sports. And the person answers according to the sports, right? What sports do you play? Who do you play with? Where? How often? When? And what time? Mm -hmm. So remember the the structure wh question word do or does the subject the verb and the complement. now if you notice with who we have with at the end who do you play basketball with why because uh, the question is con quien so to to make that question we use with at the end who do you play basketball with? Who do you live with? Who do you go to the party with? Right? Who do you go to the park with? So if you want to ask con quien, you need to make who and with at the end. You, yes, Carlos? Thank you, Miss. In this case, the, the words with always always is in the finish of the question at the end of the question mm -hmm. at the end always yes who do you live with yeah you don't say who with no it's with at the end uh -huh. you don't say who with no that's not correct with who? Uh, with is um, is, perdón, el with hace las veces entonces como de complemento. Yes, 
yes, but it, para, ese, para esa, para, para esa, perdón, para esa pregunta en específico, cuando es with, cuando, cuando, cuando preguntamos así, sería como el complemento. Siempre. Uh -huh. At the okay. end of the question, yes. Okay, thank you. Yeah, and there is another, another, um, another structure for who, when you don't know the subject. When you don't know the subject of the action, we want to know who makes or who does the action. We ask who. And so we use the third person, for example, who has a cat? If you notice, we are not using auxiliary here, who do or does have a cat because we don't have a subject. So we don't use auxiliary, we use the verb in the third person because who asks for the subject? So when you want to know the subject of the action, the doer of the action, um, we use the third person singular. Who has a cat? Who participates in class? Who plays the guitar very well? Who loves tacos? So tell me, who has a cat? Raise your hand if you have a cat. Who has a cat? Hi, teacher. <laughs> I have a cat. I have two cats. Oh, yeah, you have two cats. Two kitties. <laughs> and you, Jenny, Jenny, how many cats do you have? I have one cat. Only one. Okay, me too. Oh, no. Now, the next question is, who participates in class? Who participates in class? And in every class? I teacher. And it participates <laughs> in every class. That's good. Me too. Yes, Carlos, you're right. <gasps> Only Edith and Carlos and the others? Sometimes me too. Me too, me too. <laughs> Elsa, Ginny, Griseida, Gabriel, Jose, Arely, everybody participates in the class. <laughs> you should participate in this class. Okay. Next question Who plays the guitar very well? I don't play guitar. You don't play the guitar. I don't play the guitar either. I don't play the guitar. Is someone playing the guitar? Oh, Edith's daughter plays the guitar. Okay. And who loves tacos? Who loves tacos? I love tacos. I love tacos. Forever. <laughs> I love tacos. <laughs> okay. I love good. tacos. I love tacos. Danielle loves tacos too. The teacher loves I, tacos. I love like tacos. <laughs> okay. Can you make more questions like in this structure? Who? Very in the third person and complement. Uh, so now, for example, who, who, who walks in the park? Okay, who walks in the park? Oh, okay. Who works in the park? I walk. Park. You walk in the park. <laughs> oh, Erika wrote an example with, in, with with. Who do you eat in the restaurant with? Nice. Good structure of the question, Erika. Now, with who, very interperson and complement. Who drinks coffee in the dinner? I like coffee. I like drink coffee in the dinner. You like drinking coffee in the in the dinner, okay? Make make a question with who, third person, and complement. Mm hmm. I am waiting for the questions.
I am waiting for the questions in the chat or in the or open your microphone and say it. Teacher, in three person, we put the subject. For example, she, he, it is correct. Uh, I don't understand why you mean okay. that. Well, <laughs> the answer or in the question? The question. Okay, in this case, uh, in this structure, well, for, for example, Gabriel is correct. Who has the English book? Who yes, has yes, the English my, book? My yes, as you can see in the slide, when we don't know the subject, Como no sabemos el sujeto, we don't know the subject. We made the question like this. Who, the verb in their person singular, and the complement. Because we are asking for a third person, right? Okay, Edith. Edith, solo le faltó la F. Who lives with you? ¿Quién vive contigo? Who lives with you? Who lives with you? Okay, who plays soccer very well? Excellent. Who eats pizza on Sunday? Who eats pizza on Sundays? I don't eat pizza on Sunday. <laughs> okay. Very nice. More questions? I have another question. Who likes the English class? <coughs> Who likes the English class? Who cooks good tacos? Oh, nice question. <laughs> How does she get to work? Okay, the, the structure of the question is correct, Adelie, but I want you to use who. Who, not how, who, make a question with who. Who likes horror movies? I don't like horror movies. Who is he? <laughs> who will leave to the beach tomorrow? Mm, okay, Gabriel, but that is in the future. You are using will and will is for the future. <laughs> Maybe the question could be, Gabriel, who goes to the beach? Daniel Quijano. Remember to put the S to the verb. Who plays soccer on Saturday? Who runs every morning? Excellent. Who likes the rain? Who has a black car? Who likes uh, going to the gym? Okay, who likes going? Maria Erika, who likes going to the gym? Who works on weekends? I don't work on weekends. <laughs> I don't like working on weekends. Sometimes I do. Okay, very nice. I can see you got it, guys. Very good. Now we have here an exercise. In this exercise, you're going to help me to complete with the correct WH question word. <laughs> You're writing the questions. Christian, I don't understand your question. Who does he in the school? Remember, we don't, we don't use a subject. We don't know the subject. Elsa Noelia, hungry is a feeling. And in English, it would be, who is hungry? ¿Quién está hambriento? Who is hungry? Amalia, who likes going running? Who likes going running? 
Okay. So complete the conversations with the correct WH questions. Number one, how often do you go bike riding? Oh, about once or twice a week. I love to go by writing. If you notice, when we have the verb low, like, dislike, we have to use to to mention the other verb. Or you can use the ing form. But in this case, it's using to. I love to go by writing. I go every Sunday. Really? When did you go? That's correct. When do you go? Uh, usually at about 10 in the morning. Oh, yeah. Ah, and we have with at the end. So what is the who, question? Who, 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 who do you go with? Who do you go with? A group of friends. Come with us next time. Okay, very nice. That is the first conversation. Second conversation. I watch sports on TV every weekend. Really? What, what, do, you do, you like? what, like, what? what do you like to watch? Okay, but if we want to make it more specific, we can say what is sport? What sport. Is sport do you like to watch? Soccer. It's my favorite. When? Okay, when? When do you watch, so when do you usually watch soccer? In the evening or on weekend? And where? Where, where? exactly, where? Where do you usually watch it? At home. At home? No, at my brother's house. He has a home theater. In a smart TV, 55 feet. <laughs> okay, so very good, good job with this exercise. We have more. Complete the conversation with WH questions. What sports do you like? I like a lot of sports, but I really love volleyball. Okay, what is the question for this answer? I usually play with my sister and some friends. That is the answer. What is the question? Who do you play with? Who do you play with? Exactly. Play with. Play with. Yes, that's correct. That's and good. the next question is, we practice on Saturday. So what is the question? When, when, do, you when do you practice? When do you practice? Exactly. We practice on Saturdays. We start at about noon. What is the question? What? What time to start? Exactly. What time do you start? Start. Mm -hmm. And finally, we usually play at a sports club, but sometimes we play on the beach. Where do you play? What? Exactly. And I can add usually. Where do you usually play? Where do you usually play? The question might appear. Where do you usually play? We usually play at a sports club, but sometimes we play on the beach. Volleyball. Beach. Volleyball. That's nice. Excellent. <coughs> now, I would like you to make some questions uh, with WH forms. 
Maybe you can ask me questions. Ask questions to the teacher using WH questions. WH questions, information questions. If not, I'm gonna ask you. If you don't ask me, I will ask you. Erika Hueso, where do you live? Erika, where do you live, Erika? Hi. In La Palma. You live in La Palma, Chalatenango. Chalatenango, yes. Wow. I have some friends in Citala. Oh, that's here, right? Really? Yes. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Okay. <clears throat> Evelyn Rivera. Evelyn, are you there? Hello, Evelyn. <laughs> Now, uh, guys, I'm gonna ask some people. Briseida Yanet is present. Anderson Emanuel. Carlos Manuel Velázquez. Eduardo Enrique, Gabriela Alexandra López, no present. Okay. okay, have some questions here. Where do you go on weekend? Where do you go on weekend? Mm, I go to the church. I go to the meetings in my congregation. And I go preaching because I am a Jehovah's Witness. Another question, what, okay, Carlos, Seria, what food do you like? What food do you like? I like all food. <laughs> I like pupusa and tacos, burritos, tortas, all the Mexican and Salvadorian food, and Italian food, too. <laughs> Okay, Heriberto, what sports do you like? Um, I I play, I like play soccer. Okay, you like soccer, good. Yeah. Let's see. Oh, somebody asked, what songs do you like? What song do you like? Mm. I like many songs. I don't have a favorite, but I like Coldplay songs. I like um, Ed Sheeran songs, like Photograph, or Thinking Out Loud, or Perfect. My husband and I danced perfect in our wedding. <laughs> okay. Amalia, what kind of movies do you like? What kind of movies do you like? I like movies. Yeah, but I what like kind of movies? Comedies, action, horror movies? General. Romantic. General. One uh, for, I like Mm. All, all movies. Thank de todas, de, de todas son. <laughs> oh, what countries do you know? Mm, I know a lot of countries, but I haven't visited many. I have just visited Central America. Mm -hmm. 
Briseida, what can you what food do you cook? What food do you usually cook? Briseida Yarifa. I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking. <laughs> ah, that means that you... I don't like to cook. You don't like cooking. <laughs> okay, so you usually make maruchan. No, just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What do you do on vacation? Jeannie says, What do you do on vacation? What do you do on vacation, Jeannie? Work in my house. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Cleaning the, the Change room. the world only. <laughs> Change place to work. <laughs> yeah, but that's a good hobby. <laughs> it's good yeah. for relaxing. I like to do it. Mm -hmm. Sometimes go to the beach. Okay. Well, on vacation, I like to visit my friends that live far away. Maybe in other departments. Very nice. So thank you. Thank you for your participation in this um, activity. Good job. Um, I will send you these so that you can do it as homework, okay? Now we have another conversation here. It's about being a star. Can you sing or act? Be a star TV talent contest Saturday 9 a.m. So I need uh, two people to read the conversation between Kayla and Philip. Wow, we have a lot of people who want to participate. I'm okay, I'm... now we're gonna give the opportunity to. Uh... <laughs> it's difficult to choose. Let's see, Edith and, and Christian Josue. Okay. You can start, Edith. Oh, look, there is a talent context on Saturday letter enter. I can't enter a talent context. What can, what can I do? She can sing really well. Oh, thanks. But you can too. Oh, no, I can sing at all, but, but I can play the piano. So maybe we can enter the, con the contest. Sure, why not? Okay, let's practice. Let, let's practice tomorrow. Okay. So what is the auxiliary that we use when we talk about our talents or abilities? When we talk about talents and abilities, what, what is the auxiliary we use? Can. Exactly. Well, Philip says, I can't enter a talent contest. What can I do? You can sing very well. Well, you can too. Oh no, I can't sing at all. This expression at all means para nada, para nada, at all. I can't sing at all. But I can play the piano. So maybe we can enter the contest, right? Um, Kayla can play the piano and Philip can sing. <laughs> and they will practice. So when we want to talk about our abilities, we use can. And it's very easy because we just need to say the subject and then can. Or in the negative form, cannot or can't. Can't. Okay, we have to make that emphasis in the negative, can't. And then the verb in the base form, in the base form. So what can you do? Can you tell me 
what you can do? What can you do? What can you do? What are your talents? What are your abilities? Everybody can do something. Well, I can cook and I can eat. <laughs> I can eat much. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I so, like him, so. Uh, I, I can uh, a few signs of, of diff or for diff. Sign, sign, language of signs. Oh, you can sign, you yes. can. You to, can communicate to, sign language. Yes, yes. Oh, that's great. Yes, a few. <laughs> okay, nice, Gabriel. Yeah, I yes. learned a little. Some yes. Years ago, but I forgot. I need uh, to. I need to learn. But but the the your signs are american or uh, salvadorian salvadorian oh, okay uh -huh. and learn uh, salvadorian salvadorian sign language yes. very good i i'm glad to know that gabriel okay. so you can communicate with deaf people yes yes mm -hmm. very good i i i, I was uh, uh, teaching uh, bible in the in the church oh okay mm -hmm. to what only you... all, all the era all the people are are deaf are deaf it, it is is a ministry ministry of deaf ah okay yes where do you serve what congregation do you serve at uh, tabernáculo bíblico bautista amigo de israel central I learned with my friends um, in Jehovah's Witnesses. Okay. Jehovah's Witnesses. Uh -huh. Do you know Jehovah's Witnesses? J W. <laughs> A B C D E F G H J K L M N O P Q R S T U P W E X, Y, and C. <laughs> <laughs> Very good, Gabriel. You know, you can say the alphabet in sign language. Yes. <laughs> Very good. Okay. So, what other talents we have in the class? I can drive. Who can drive? Can you drive? No, I not can. You can't drive. And you, Carlos? I can drive. Okay. Who can ride a motorcycle? I can drive a motorcycle, but I'm scared. Me da miedo. Oh, you are scared of that. Or yeah. you are afraid of afraid of riding a motorcycle. Okay. Because I I have I has to an accident. I had. I had. I had accident. an accident. Oh that's why. I'm sorry. Okay, it's okay. <laughs> Okay, what are your talents? Tell me, don't be shy. Your talents or abilities. Heriberto, what are your talents or abilities? What can you do? You are a person of experience, so I, I'm sure you have special talents i can i can draw very well you can draw very well yeah that's good because not all people can draw <laughs> <laughs> okay who can dance i can dance yeah. really carlos show us 
<laughs> but I guess, uh, like, like, like a, a little duck. <laughs> but Don't I worry. tried it. But I tried dance. <laughs> exactly. I think that when you dance, the most important is to have fun. Okay. So, can for the ability. It's easy, the soap, because uh, you just place the subject. I can, you can, he can, she can, we can, they can. And then the verb, sing, and the complement. Very well. I can sing very well. You can sing very well. He can sing very well. Or in the negative form, can't sing at all. Para nada. She can't sing at all. We can't sing at all. They can't sing at all. And when we make questions, we use the auxiliary can at the beginning. We put the, the can first, then the subject, and then the question, the verb, and the question form. Can you sing? Yes, I can. Can I sing? Yes, you can. Can he sing? Yes, he can. Can she sing? No, she can't. She sings horrible. Can we sing? No, we can't. Can they sing? No, they can't. And for information questions, we have the, the question word, then can, subject and verb. What can I do? You can sing. Who can sing? Philip can. In the next slide, we have more examples. We have different abilities like jump, play, run, dance, study, surf, and sing. Examples, I can swim. I cannot swim. I can't swim. I never learned to swim. So I don't have that talent. I don't have that ability. And he can't play the drums. They can play soccer. My husband can play soccer very well. I can't play soccer. I'm not good at sports. And she can... Oh, there is a mistake here, but she can jump. She can jump. I cannot jump the rope. I never learned to do it. I never learned to jump the rope. <coughs> Oops. So, hmm, can we make questions using, no, question no, sentences about our talents and abilities with can and can't. So tell me about two abilities you have and two abilities you don't have. Two things you can do and two things you can't do. I can speak English and Spanish. I can make tamales and pupusa. But I can't ride a motorcycle. And I can't uh, play soccer. Oh, Gabriel, I can drive a car. Very nice. I can drive very well. Okay. Heriberto, you can't play soccer, but you said that you like soccer. <laughs> I can swim, I can drive a car, I can sing, I can ride a motorcycle. Oh, nice. Briseida, you can sing. Can you sing in the class? 
We're going to make a talent show. <laughs> Christian can play video games. Adolfo can cook tortilla soup, but he can't cook tamales. I can teach you how to make tamales. I can make tortilla soup too. I can dance, but I can't sing. Really, Adeline? We want to see you dancing, Adeline. <coughs> So if I ask you, what can you do? I can't drive a car, I can ride a bike. Nice that you can ride a bike, Amalia. Because I have a friend who can't ride a bicycle. <laughs> there are people who can't ride a bike, so it's not an ability. Excuse me, Amalia? Uh, I can't ride the bike with family. With your family? Yes. Gabriel can't cook. Oh, Gabriel, you need to learn how to cook. Edith can make pupusas and she can swim. Mm, delicious. What is your specialty of pupusas, Edith? Okay, Carlos can ride a car, but he can't ride a boat. Adelie can ride a car. Gabriel can swim. Oh, Heriberto can't fix a car. You need to go to the mechanic. Gabriel? Mm, one question. Uh, in the in this case of uh, when I can electricity, air conditioning, it, it no, it's not ability. Uh, you need to look for the verb. You need to say, for example, what I can um, repair or I can install or I can, what, what can you do exactly with those things? Oh, en español se lo diré. O sea, ¿cómo le podría llamar yo a eso? Porque no es una habilidad, es algo aprendido, no es un, como un oficio, no sé. Yes, but it's something that you can do. For example, a mechanic can repair cars. Eh, maybe you can install ¿Qué, ¿Qué es lo que hace? Instalar, reparar. Instalar. Ok, so you can say, I can install. Eh, what can you install? Electricity, cable, electrical cables. Okay, Edith says that she can make cheese and beans pupusas, mora, chicken pupusas, nice. Uh, Edith can teach Gabriel how to make pupusas. So Gabriel can cook. <laughs> Oh, Daniel can sew by machine. Nice. I want to learn how to sew. I want to learn how to make a dress or a blouse, right? With the sew uh, machine. Okay. Dance. Sorry, Daniel. Um, I I can sew by uh, machine. Uh -huh, by machine. Um, 
um, este pantalón de vestir nomás. You can make pants. You can tailor pants. You can tailor pants. Oh, nice, Daniel. Mm -hmm. So Daniel can tailor pants. <coughs> Good. Okay, people, thank you so much for sharing your abilities and talents. Um, now, let's see. Tell me about your family talents. Well, my father can drive big trucks. My mother? Uh, in, yes? in my case, my mother cook um, gallo and chicha. Oh, Very OK. And my wife, mm -hmm. uh, she is a painter picture. So your brother can paint pictures, can paint. Ah. You say my brother can paint. Okay. My wife too. Oh, your wife is an artist. She can paint very well. Yes. Also, only. <laughs> only that. Only that. Oh, you see, I know when you're, oh, Heriberto says that his wife can dance very well. And you, Heriberto, can you dance with your wife? I don't, uh, I don't uh, dance. I <laughs> can't dance. <laughs> you can't dance. Yeah. Uh, my husband can sing in French. Okay. But I can't sing in French so well. <laughs> oh, Briseida says that her nephew can draw very well. Nice. Also, Gabriel's sister. And his brother can play the guitar. Oh, Daniel says that his father can garden. Okay. Can do gardening. Gardening. Do gardening, yes. Ah. Es gardening la palabra oh, jardinería yeah, no, o garden. Okay. It's okay. okay. My my father can garden. Yes, garden is also a verb. Okay. Mm -hmm. Or work in a garden. Very good. Oh, people, we just have one minute. I I didn't notice. Okay, so I want to do this for tomorrow's class. Um, describe a talented person. You will talk tomorrow in the class for one minute about a talented person. Could be famous or could be a person in your family, a friend, etc. You have to include the name, the age, the nationality. You can say, for example, uh, my talented person is my brother. His name is Walter. He's 40 years old. He's Salvadorian. He's very funny. He's talent. You say he can do this or that. So this is going to be your homework. Okay. Sure.
And well, it's nine o'clock and I need to go to my next class, but it was good to see you. Tomorrow we continue with this about famous people's talents. So don't forget to do the homework. I will send the slide with information so you can get ready and prepare. Okay, people, good night, sweet dreams. See you tomorrow. Night. Bye bye. Good night. Good night. Good night, teacher. Good night.